and we are back with AM Live, and I'm here with Ted Smith, local artist. Good to Hello. meet you, Ted. Good to meet you. Good to have you this morning. You have some beautiful art that we're going to talk about. Thank you. Um, we're actually going to kind of bring up each piece, but first I want to find out a little more about you. Um, so how long have you been an artist? Well, uh, when I moved up here from the Bay Area in 95, uh, I, I was a school teacher at that time, and I retired and moved up here with my wife, Pat Houghton. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, so we've been up here since, I've been up here since 95, and uh, um, I, uh, I dabbled a little bit while I was teaching in uh, sketching the Victorians in, uh, in uh, the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. oh, and uh, mm -hmm. and uh, then when I got, but came up here, I started taking uh, art instruction from a local artist, his name is uh, Howard Reese. Mm -hmm. And he lives in, in Jackson, and uh, uh, he introduced me into uh, uh, watercolor and some of the. I mean, up to, at, at that point, I had not really taken any uh, instruction. And yeah. I just did, I was pretty good at drawing, so yeah. you know. Yeah, so it's amazing. So you yeah. have a late bloomer, would you say? As well, as? sort of. I, I always did well in you know in uh, in school and art in yeah. art but uh, uh, yeah mm -hmm. yeah but uh, uh, the instruction part of it was uh, an eye opener yeah yeah absolutely helped you kind of set free your talents and, and direct them in a, in a certain way yeah yeah well I learned about a few things you know from Howard and uh, uh, and uh, um, uh, maybe we're going to talk a little bit yeah. about it. So let's talk about this right here. Um, this is a, I was looking at it upside down and I realized it's a pin cushion. That's beautiful. Tell us about this. Well, it's my, my wife, Pat, she um, has been known to do uh, uh, sewing mm -hmm. and alterations and uh, she doesn't do it anymore, but uh, this was uh, pretty uh, pretty uh, hard to pass up. Yeah, it's so <laughs> vibrant. Know? I love the colors. Yeah, well, yeah. It, at one time, she had all those pins in there, and I said, "Well, that, that's uh, that's a, a good subject that won't move." Yeah, <laughs> you know, it'll, yeah, it'll exactly. Be still. <laughs> it'll be still good. So let's um, let's can we zoom in on the picture here on the left, the my left here, and tell us about that when they get it zoomed. Uh, in. That's beautiful. Yeah, wow. that that is uh, a workshop down in Zion Park mm -hmm. that uh, I I took a photograph uh, and did that painting of. Uh, of uh, one of the scenes in, in Zion, and then we went down there, I don't know, maybe five, six years ago, and stayed for about a week. And uh, The colors, uh, again, I love your use of colors. I'm gonna grab one of these behind me, yeah. too. Is this the way it goes, is it like this? Yeah, right. yeah, you know, the abstract <laughs> art is uh, um, uh, something I've been uh, uh, trying out and, and doing a lot of. I like to use uh, a lot of texture, a lot of... Uh, yeah paint and, mm -hmm. and pa the palette knife, you know. I love uh, that palette knife look. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. texture is beautiful. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab another one here while we're, while we're at it. This one down here is similar, right? Well, the, this one it has uh, a lot of texture from uh, rice paper that I, I put uh, uh, adhesive on the board and scrunched up the, the rice paper to make it uh, have... Uh, uh, you know, uh, ups and downs, and, and uh, very dimensional. Yeah, yeah. And, and then I paint after mm -hmm. it dried. Then I painted the uh, uh, the image, and uh, it, it actually was uh, you know an abstract idea, and it it, <laughs> it just turned out to be a face to me. Uh, I can see the the eyes here and the nose, and then the the lips down here, and then the beard. So, so when you're when you're painting, you, do you maybe do you, do you? I was thinking that would be intentional, but sometimes do, do images just come out of the art? Oh sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's, that's a happy accident. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you grab that one right behind you, so we can pull that one up too. Yeah. I'll hold it for you, and you can t you okay. can tell us about it. Yeah. Th this one does have some. Uh, examples of, uh, of uh, a tone and changing tone and what we uh, artists call value and that is when you have a dark darker paint darker color that it goes to different um, shades of lighter color mm -hmm. and that's that's value and, and uh, uh, or tone and you can see here is some uh, mixture with uh, with the palette knife mm -hmm. and uh, um, 
sometimes you know you get a, a, a result from a palette knife that you don't get from a brush and uh, um, this is one of those uh, techniques where you you move up the palette knife up and you can get a sharp edge and uh, and you get a change in value and uh, um, that helps to to tie the picture together yeah and so if you if you have a flat one to one flat color uh, it doesn't give it as much uh, uh, pizzazz, I guess you could say. Uh, this one is uh, a watercolor uh, that I did of uh, Grover Hot Springs yeah. up by Markleyville. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the campground is back over here, and uh, uh, the hot springs is back up in there. You can't see it mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. but if you've ever been there, the, you, you recognize this field. And wow. the, ro the road that goes up to the hot springs is actually over behind these trees here. So. Uh, so beautiful. You have, you're so talented. Just well, vibrant colors and just really feels like it just pulls you in. Yeah, so thank where, you. So where's your art being displayed? At Gallery 10 mm -hmm. uh, in uh, Sutter Creek mm -hmm. on uh, Eureka Street. It's right next to Susan's. Uh, yeah. Restaurant. Everybody knows mm -hmm. where that is, yes. you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, um, yeah, I've been... What I've date? Been, what, what's the date on that? Well, um, we have a we have what you call a, a featured artist of the month for the whole month. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and that encompasses the front part of the gallery. Okay. And so you get extra space. Yeah. And um, we have seven members. Mm -hmm. It's a co-op, and uh, we have also uh, a consignment artists that pay for a, a panel. And uh, they pay a certain amount of money. They don't have to come to meetings or any anything else. And the members need to to uh, sit at the desk and be the uh, salesperson. So yeah, speak, you know? yeah, exactly. And so you so do you know the hours of the gallery is open? Is it every day? Uh, Eleven o'clock to five at this time, mm -hmm. and then uh, at, after the first of the year, then we close at four. Okay. Okay, but, good. So for this whole month of November, you are the featured artist, mm -hmm. and people can come in. They can purchase your art, admire your art, <laughs> and look at the other. And, and look at all the other artists too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we have a lot of uh, variation in there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Well, I really love your work. You, is your work? Would you call it inspirational? Is that what I was reading? Well, um, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, uh, sometimes you uh, you know it's it's it it, it, all, it doesn't always work out, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and sometimes you have to uh, 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 put it aside and come back to it, or uh, as which is uh, uh, sort of a bad habit to have. I guess you put it up on the wall in your house, yeah, and, and you see it, so you you say, oh, I got to do this, or I got to do that, and uh, and sometimes you. Uh, you overdo it. Yeah. You know. That's life, right? <laughs> I <laughs> that's, suppose. That's life. Okay, Ted, well, we're going we're gonna to head to break. We're going to we'll, uh, have you on the morning wrap-up in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. Okay, we'll be right back. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSP.